Hi, it's Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I thought we'd try and make a Superman logo. So we're going to have two colours, yellow and red, and we will get started by doing a chain of ten. I'm going to take a single band wrap it once and twice, and then I'm going to chain ten. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to go back to the eighth, and I'm going to zoom in so you can see clearly what I'm doing. We're going to go back to the eighth stitch. This is ten, nine, and eight, so we're going to put a hook through the eighth like that and pull your band through one over the other and then join this through these two. We're going to go back into that eighth stitch and do a single crochet. So we've basically done two stitches in that eighth stitch which is the same as doing an increase. If I can get my hook to work, there we go fiddling faffing all over the place. Now we're going to do single crochets until we get to the end. This is my last stitch here, okay? You can see I've got the little end cap on the end here. We're going to do one single crochet, and then the next stitch, go in again through that last stitch, and we're doing a slip stitch. So pull your band through and add the loop that's on your hook to it, and now we're going to do a chain one. Pinch, turn your hook around. Now we're going to skip these two first chains, this one and this one, so skip one, skip two, go into the third from the hook, single band, one over the other and pull through these two and go back into that stitch again and do your increase. Alright, now we're doing single crochet down to the end again. This is my second last stitch. This is my last stitch, so I'm going to go in. I'm going to do a single crochet and then in again through that same stitch, do a slip stitch and chain one. Whoopsie, let's chain one properly without losing my work. Pinch and turn my hook. Alright, so we're starting with this sort of, that looks like a little roof of a house, that sort of angled shape. I'm going to do another row like that. Skip, skip into the third from your hook. Pull your single band through, one over the other, then pull that one loop through these two, whoops, like so. Back in that same stitch to do our increase and then single crochet all the way to the bottom again.
is my second last stitch so the next stitch this is my last stitch I'm going to do single crochet and then go back into that stitch again and do my slip stitch and chain one I'm going to do another round round another row like that just so that we have a bigger um, area like this so again skip skip in we go here do our first slip stitch and pull it through whoopsie there we go back into that same stitch and do a single crochet and then we do single crochet all the way down to the end This is my second last stitch. I'm going to go into my last stitch, which is here, single crochet, back through that last stitch, slip stitch, and chain. Pinch and turn my hook. So now we're going to start our decreases. We're going to skip one and two go into three and four pull your band through to do your decrease one over the other and pull through those two and then we do our single crochet all the way to the end till we get to the last whoopsie let's grab that until we get to the last two stitches so stop before you get to the last two stitches So this is my third from last stitch. My last two is one and two. So I'm going to drag my band through one, through two. Now I really need to do a, um, a chain from this. So I'm going to add my loop to it and reclaim. So it's sort of like a, a slip stitch and chain, pinch, and move. I'm then going to skip one, skip two, into three and four, and do my decrease, and then continue down my row with single crochets until I get two from the, la from the end of this row. Oops. So 
So here we go, this is my third. So I go through my first one, through my second, and again I'm going to join these two together. Whoops. I'm going to add my loop to it, reclaim, chain one, pinch, and turn. So we're doing our decrease. Skip one, skip two, into three and four. Do your decrease. And single crochet till you get to the last two stitches. Go in through the first one. Oops, get both loops for the second one. Do our decrease. So capture one and two together. Add your loop. Reclaim. Chain one. And let's go skip one, skip two, into three, into four. And whoops. Do our decrease. One, oops, get both loops. There we go. Single band, pull it through and through. Add my loop, reclaim, chain one, pinch and turn. I'm going to sort of stretch these out a bit to make them a little bit more even if you need to. So skip one, skip two, we're into three and four to do our real decrease which is not a slip stitch and I keep dropping things today let's get that chain happening again thank you very much and pull that through goodness me I'm going to go back and do that again. I'm not happy with how that looks. I think I might have done something wrong. Let's check. So that's here. This is my decrease of those. Add the loop. I think I was right, but never mind. It's better safe than sorry, right? Skip one, skip two. We're into three and four one and two Add my loop, chain, pinch, turn, skip one, skip two, we're right into three and four. Add 
add my loop, chain, pinch, turn, we're nearly at the end, can you see? Skip one, skip two, so we're in three and four. And then the next stitch is basically, we're going, oops, come on, Kate, get your hook through one, and these two. here. I've got to add my loop to it but I first want to just pretty this up. There we go. Add my loop to it. Reclaim. Chain. Pinch. Turn. Now I only have the one loop to go through. So one, two, we've got this and this. So I've gone through both. If I can get my thing to work. There we go. So that is the end, if you see. I know it sort of wants to turn up, doesn't it? That is my last stitch here. So what I'm actually going to do is push my hook through here and I'm changing to red. I'm going to pull my red band through and add that yellow like a slip stitch, like that. And then I'm just going to go around the edges with red and just pick two little loops. For the sides that are straight. When you come to a corner, and I know the corners are a bit tricky to see, we have a corner at the bottom, a corner here, a corner here, a corner here and a corner here. So every time we come to a corner we're going to put three stitches in the same stitch, three single crochets in the same stitch. So for example, I'm at a corner here, this is my corner, I'm going to go through and I'm going to do, and actually I can see that there's a loop here, I'm going to go through this side where there's not the loop and do one stitch and it's all still in the same stitch but I've got this other thing there I'm going to push through the top bit here do my second stitch in that same stitch and now do my third stitch in that same stitch so there's three stitches in this stitch okay and now I'll continue going around if I can pick up the bands it would be nice now, here is my next corner to do three, one, two, and three, and then we do just single all the way down here. Make sure you go through both loops. Oops, both loops, not three loops. There we go. Now, this next corner, you're going to notice that there's these three little loops on it in yellow. This is our end cap. That's where we started. We can chop that off. Be careful you don't chop anything else off. And now we're going to do three in this for our corner. So one, two, and three, and on we continue. Just doing two loops. Again, we're at a corner here. Do you see we're at this corner here? I'm going through these two. One. Oops, 
from here. Two. Three. And now we can go down to the bottom of our work where we have our last corner. And I'm sorry, I, I can see it's curling up and unfortunately that's the nature of the beast when you're working in rubber bands. Perhaps after it relaxes for a little while it will be better. As you can tell in yarn, it doesn't, it sits nice and flat. <laughs> And we'll be doing that one next. So here I'm at the bottom. This is my last corner, so I'm doing three in here. One, two, three. Then I need to, to join these together. Do an extra. We do an extra. There we go. That's what we'll do. We'll do an extra single crochet and tie that off. And then we'll hide this under the V's. Sorry, I know it's a little bit OCD of me, but there you go. push my hook under those little V's, get the end of my tie-off band and I'm just going to pull that through like so. And it's trying to sit flat but not, not very well. And now what we're going to do is the S on top of this. So picking a spot where you want to, and there's no way I can make it like the S um, on the Superman the, you know how it actually connects in and it's a thicker I can't do the font <laughs> so we have to make do with what we can single band pull it through and loop and then you're going to find your next spot single band pull it through that loop and loop and your next spot single band pull it through pull it through the loop on your hook connect and let go. Uh, <laughs> loop. So this is how we're doing it. And you want to make sure that you don't go too far. If you stretch it too far, you're going to make it curl up again. So just do little spaces between where you're doing this. Pull it through. We want to turn it for our S. So try not to go too ahead of yourself so that you're not stretching your band and making these little stitches uneven and I might go maybe I'll go here we'll see the good thing about this is you can just unpick it and have another go if you if you mess it up and trust me I've done that a lot <laughs> So see how I'm doing this? I want to make sure that my S can fit. I want to really go here to here, I think. That might be too far. I'll go from here to here. I just don't want to pull it and stretch the stitches. So I'll do one more from here. <laughs> from here to here. Let's see how this looks. I think that will do. 
I'm going to take this off, hold it, push my hook up through the, the side of it. So it, it finishes here, but I'm pulling this up through the side of it, and pulling it back to the back side of it so that the little knot's there. And all you need to do is just go through like a little loop on the end here or a loop on the back that you're close to and tie off in a slip knot and depending if you've tied off on a yellow or a red I tied off with red so I used a red band and I'm going to hide it under the reds if you tied off with a yellow on a yellow stitch hide it under your yellow stitches the little V's of your yellow stitches just go through some of these little V's and pull the tie off band back so you can hide it like so and there we have our Superman logo and as I said this is for Dawn so good luck with it take care bye